Okay, I'm gonna show you how to add a brilliant dimmer switch. First off, we need a flathead screwdriver to remove the faceplate because we will be scanning the QR code. First off, we need to open up the Brilliant app. This would be done on the resident's phone. Uh, we then hit the settings wheel on the upper left. We're gonna go to install. And we're installing a dimmer switch. So at, down here, we select smart dimmer switch. And now we need to name the switch. We're not naming the light, we're naming the switch because there are different settings such as motion and scene control. So this is the hall switch. And this is what's in a single pole configuration, meaning just this one light switch is controlling one light. We pick a room, uh, we'll add a new room and call this hall, create room, and assigning a load. This is the type of light, which is a standard light. And now we are naming the light itself, the actual bulb. So we'll name it hall light. The light type, all of the lights here in your property are LEDs, we select LED, as well as the wattages, all the wattages are 10 to 150, so make that the standard. It's gonna ask, do you want to dim this light? We will select yes. I hit next. How many light switches are currently controlling us? This is a single pole, so just one. Next. And save. And now we're going to install. All right, the second part of setting this up, now from here, we're going to hit ready to install. And here's that switch that we have provisioned. It says incomplete, so we need to add the switch. I hit start. The app then thinks we haven't already installed it. We actually have, so we can hit begin, hit the three bars on the upper right and scroll all the way down to connect, because we're ready to connect this brilliant switch. This just says, are you sure you're ready to do that? Yes, we are, and hit continue. We're gonna grant access to the camera if you haven't already, and we're gonna scan that QR code. So the camera's turned on, find the switch, there's that QR code, and now it's going to establish a connection. Uh, this flashing light will turn to a solid white light, and this will continue to provision once it's set up. Okay, once it has been paired, you can see we have our solid white light, and it's asking us if we want to adjust the trim, which we do, so now we can adjust the bright level. I can hit the plus sign, and if you actually scroll the camera up, you can see the light has gotten brighter, and if I hit the minus, the light is getting more dim. We want to go to a good dimming experience without any flickering. Looks like there's some flickering. There we go, that's the proper dimming experience. So now I want to hit next. And this is just finalizing that pairing process. It says, great, your hall switch has been added. The setup is complete. Next. If we needed to add another device, we could. If not, we hit no exit and we are all provisioned. We can set up the uh, motion detection as well as scene control later by doing it on the actual control itself.